Nigeria, Southwest Nigeria. Now we are approaching the the farm. The idea of this clip is to encourage folks to know what to do to start up their project. Now, after he had uh, approached Mr. Fish, we've discussed on uh, what it takes to to start up the project. Ask him for his dream. Ask for the prerequisites like the space. We said you must get it fenced. You must have access to water. You must have access to some form of power. You must have living quarters around it. And then it should be close to where people, people stay. And having fulfilled four over six, the next thing is uh, to now give him what they call working drawings together with a bill of quantities and then the pricing. Having scaled through the order, which is innovation and concept development, we are now at the next phase, which is uh, foundation and structure. Now, you have three options with Mr. Fish. The first option is to get our uh, surveyor, or uh, sorry, get our supervisors or my team on a part time, on a part time, or will I call it, uh, yeah, I call it part time, part time basis, not full time, right? Just to come and do the supervision for you. It could be partial, it could be full, and at the same time, it could be through the telephone. Then it, the third one is to do what they call full tonky. But for here, he's buying materials, and we've got our own site supervisors working. That's it. One of them coming right in front there, followed by uh, his own team after having purchased some materials, like you've seen, like you're seeing here. Now, what we're doing today now is to try and peg and demarcate to make the plan come to reality. So we're entering the gate. Uh, right there, he's got his own uh, team too. He's got a surveyor. You can see him cleaning the theodolite lights out there. And then we told him, make it blocks in advance. Get the materials based on the bill of quantities and the pricing. And then, well, if he's going to get a little bit cheaper. <laughs> okay. So now we're doing the peg. We're doing the pegging for five production models. Each one was about three by seven meters. But in this case, it's going to be so neat and modern because it's going to be run on biofiltration system since almost everywhere seems to have been purchased and very little no space to exit water. So it needs to do what they call pollution abatement and water control. And that's why soccer away pits are going to be built and then the water has to be, recy the water has to be recycled. So what we're doing right now is to get ahead and peg about two production models. He looked at his budget and he decided that what he's going to do is to do two of the production models. But probably go ahead and build five, the roof for all the five production models. So that's what we're trying to now get the, the axes and uh, what is necessary to let the drawing become a reality that's exactly what we what we're doing now now the guys are there at the extreme edge trying to do the pegging while we're telling the the workers here to take blocks away from the construction site so this is mr fish speaking benin city nigeria sorry i'm not showing but most of you know me already but and you know my voice so much more than my face but in the subsequent videos that we'll end up merging together you'll definitely see me talking and uh, uh giving advices on what and what to do guys are trying to use their their high boss to replace the to replace the the um this one uh what do, you, what do you call it now uh the square the square instrument but someone is going to go and get it now what we're trying to carve out what we're trying to carve out is the space necessary for two modules necessary for two modules out of the five that is going to be uh established on this on this, on this farm so I'm trying to get that now that's what we're listening to say you need a peg you need a hammer so the mallet right in the other guys and <laughs> and then a tape rule so it, it looks a simple assignment but then we can be here for the next uh, 
uh, five six hours just trying to do no six seven hours just trying to do the pegging so it's not really it looks simple but it's not an easy task mr fish speaking from Beni, lagos nigeria what well, are those guys who I want dig? This is Tabik Farm. Don't mind the noise. This is the construction site. Benin City, Lego, uh, Benin City, Nigeria. Now, you know Mr. Fish already. And what we're doing here today is to set out the pegging process for the, well, I could, yeah, I'll say it's a massive bystander because we're going to have five models here. And it's going well, to be well, almost close to huh? uh, uh, Two thousand times five. That's a lot of ten thousand. That's ten tons. We are having five models. So that's that's not a mean. That's not a mean thing. So we're setting out the the pegging process to know the space necessary for two models. For starting with two models, to actually do something that will be about its cash flow. Now. Having set up for two models, we clear up all the material that's in there and they start the digging for the blinding process before we have the This is Mr. speaking from Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. For now, you see that it's made all these blocks. You can show them the blocks. All the blocks is made and uh, necessary for the project based on the bill of quantities given to him. And then, uh, if you look at he did all kinds of blocks, you know, we had this, this solid block. We we'll just use very minimal amount of this. And it had a six inches block. Which will be the one that will be used for the biofiltration gutter. And then over there are the nine inch blocks. Those are the main the main stuff that will be used in the external walls and the main divisions of the pond. I'll keep you posted. This is Mr. Fish speaking.